This is a tale of two women. Wasini, a widowed mother of six in a rural village of Ethiopia. And in a small mining town in Nevada, Donna Galley, a married mother of five grown children. Two women, worlds apart, who've dramatically changed each other's world. Their story just might change yours. It all started with a desperate prayer. Wasini was hungry, distraught, and soaking wet. The tiny hut that housed her family was almost worthless when the rains came. Wasini felt unable to provide adequate shelter or food for her children. On her knees in her mud-filled home, she prayed for God to end her life. <laughs> but God had other plans. At about that time, Donna Galley attended a Women of Faith event as she did every year. She learned about child sponsorship through World Vision. She heard how her monthly gift could provide a child somewhere in the world with clean water, nutritious food, health care, education, and spiritual nurture. She learned of the tremendous need. And I thought, you know, I can't do a lot, but I can do, I can probably do this. At the World Vision table, Donna found the picture of a little girl with eyes that made her own fill with tears. There was just absolutely no hope in this little girl's eyes. Sorry. Um, well, there just, there is like no hope. The little girl she sponsored that day was Sinait, Wasini's oldest daughter. Donna wrote her a letter and soon got a response. You're blessed with your family. My family was about to be scattered when you started sponsoring us. With the help of translators, the letters flew back and forth. Donna learned more about how difficult things were for Sinait and her family. She wanted to do even more. So I call World Vision to find out if any of her sisters or brothers had a sponsor. Donna and her husband decided to sponsor Sinait's younger sister and later the baby of the family, a little boy named Tamaru. In addition to writing to the three sponsored children and their siblings, Donna began to correspond with Wasini. She mentored her, encouraged her, reminded her she was doing the best she could for her children. We know you're concerned about our life. As you know, life is very different. Two women connected over the miles. For each of them, the letters and pictures were treasured grew more precious with each passing year. I decided to make an emotional connection. And I thought, okay, you know, I may never see them, but uh, they see the same moon I see. They see the same sun I see. They worship the same Lord that I worship. You know, so we are connected. When one of the children wrote that Wasini planned to sell some of their land to buy food, Donna called World Vision to ask if there were any way she could provide a milk cow to help the family. Then they called me back and said, oh yes, they could really use a cow. And I said, okay, let's, let's buy a cow. Over time, Donna and her husband purchased more animals to help the family. The galleys even had this safe and sturdy home built for Wasini and her children. No longer would they live in the leaky hut. Donna has done so much for Wasini and her family, yet she feels she's the one who's been blessed. They've enabled me to be a missionary in my own home without ever leaving it. And coming from two opposite places, and yet we've touched. When we learned about all the letters, the love and generosity she had shared with this family through the years, we tracked Donna down and found out she was a woman of faith. Then we decided to surprise her with a trip to meet with Cinny and her children. Donna never imagined she would get to meet her World Vision family. Over the years, just fallen in love with this family. After nearly eight years of loving a family through letters and prayer. Oh, I can't wait to hug them, put my arms around them. Donna and her husband Jeff find themselves in Wasini's world. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, in her arms. You're beautiful. 
<laughs> All the pictures sent through the mail come to life. From Cameroon, Canet. The little girl Donna first sponsored is tall and healthy now with a smile that competes with the Ethiopian sun. The one who started it all, she's just so beautiful. And Donna said she didn't see any hope in her eyes. And now she is just radiant. She's absolutely radiant, as is the whole family. And to think she was once a little child, small child, on a folder on the concourse. And now she has everything. Cindy proudly shows Donna and Jeff the home they made possible. Oh, the grave. Shows them all their faithful support has provided. And you all slept in here, all of you? And then Masini takes Donna to the old hut with the holes in the roof where she once prayed to end her life. <laughs> this tale of two women, two moms, comes full circle. She's a wonderful mother. <laughs> to think it all started far away from this hut with one woman of faith in an audience of thousands. One woman who decided to make a difference for one little girl with no hope in her eyes. What a difference that decision made for that girl. What a difference for two families who will never be the same. Can you imagine what a difference you could make when you choose to sponsor a child?